Hey there everybody, it's me Cody on Microsoft, where today I'll be showing you Windows 10 build 16.2.2.6 as part of the Fall Creators update. This build brings several interesting new features and several new bugs to watch out for. In last week's build, Microsoft Edge was updated with several new features such as annotation of EPUB files and the ability to go full screen with a hit of the F11 key. Build 16.2.2.6 now lets you ink onto EPUB files. You don't actually write on the text itself because of the responsive nature of it, but you can write in little sticky notes by right-clicking on selected text. You can also underline, highlight, or ask Cortana for information on a specific word or phrase. It seems Edge has become Windows 10's best standardized document reader. Edge also freezes a lot. Until that gets fixed, you can close it using Task Manager. Scooting over a tab in the Advanced view, Task Manager now displays the status of your computer's GPU. Information like utilization over time and GPU memory can be analyzed using this page just like you would any other section. Given the broadness of hardware available for PCs, you might encounter a few bugs, and feedback is highly appreciated. Microsoft is rolling out its Fluent design language in Waves. We've already seen the effects of some of Fluent's design principles in recent updates to apps in Windows 10, but you can now see these changes in the Start menu and Action Center as well. Comparing the old blur effect with the new acrylic background, Start is now a dark gray rather than a semi-transparent black, and the blur is much deeper, matching the rest of what we've seen in acrylic so far. This new look also comes with some new functionality. Resizing the Start menu is now much more adaptive, allowing you to resize diagonally in a way that you couldn't do before. The transition between desktop and tablet mode will be smoother because of this. I'm hoping for big improvements to the touch experience in Windows 10, especially considering some of the leaks and rumors we've been hearing regarding convergence of platforms. Tablet mode still seems to be somewhat of an afterthought in Windows 10, but in build 16.2.15 and 16.2.2.6, we have some hope as the touch keyboard seems to have been completely redone. This keyboard is faster, more precise, and more accurate. Text prediction is better, the emoji section is smoother, and the inking panel is far more intuitive. Another very interesting new feature in the tablet keyboard is a one-handed mode. It's Windows Phone! It's literally a spitting image of the Windows 10 mobile keyboard floating around your screen. And yes, that does include swipe. That I appreciate. These keyboards were first introduced with build 16.2.15, but they've been updated to support several new languages in 16.2.2.6. That pretty much sums it up for the tablet mode changes in this build, but they do desktop users quite well too. Use the combo Windows key plus period while you're in a text box and an emoji panel will appear. This panel analyzes your text to automatically suggest an emoji. It seems every year now we have a new Unicode emoji standard. Now with Emoji 5.0 you can access a new list of emoji among dozens of others, coconut, broccoli, wizard, vampire, and Chinese takeout box. Some new emoji have been updated to better align with standards. The cheeseburger is now a hamburger, and ROFL no longer looks like Pac-Man. Of course, we can't go an update without seeing some sort of addition to the Windows settings. Today, we have a new storage sense. There are a few new boxes and buttons here, like delete previous versions of Windows. Other changes to the Windows settings include a new Xbox networking section under Gaming, and a new remote desktop settings page under System. Microsoft's Shanghai event last month makes sense of how much attention Creators Update builds paid to Chinese and Japanese language support. That can be seen again in this build in addition to the accessibility changes we now have. People who these changes apply to are highly encouraged to leave feedback on their experience using them. Now, as with all these new features, there are also quite a few issues, so be aware of that. The Windows Insider program is not an expedited update route. It won't cause your device to explode, but you aren't guaranteed to run these builds without encountering some sort of issue. This build has been a quick build update video with me, Cody, on Microsoft. If this video was helpful, make sure to subscribe and check out onmicrosoft.com for more info. Thank you, goodbye.